How's it going everyone? I'm here tying another fly for you. Today I'm going to tie it's a flash tailed perch imitation. It's 7 inch long, loads of bulk, no weight. It's just the last fly in order. This one's in gold. I've also got I've been tying some in silver. So, loads of movement, loads of flash. It's a small fly. So, today I'm tying on Sakuma Mantis, the 545, size 5.0. Another nice strong wire hook. The thread I'm going to use in today is back in GSP, is Vivas 100. So, start off, you got a good base layer down for the fly. A good base, no humble twist. And you're tying it in. So. Nice base down. To about between the point and the barb. I do crimp all these barbs off um, before I put them in the fly box. But, right, start off with. So white bucktail. This one's looking a bit sorry for itself. So this is going to be support for the tail. So up near the top of the top of the bucktail or the tip. Not a lot. So we're not wanting this to flare. So just get tied in. Right. So for the flash in this. I like this stuff. This is a uh, Dave Downey Definite Advantage. This is I don't know what the colour's called, I've lost the packet, but it's golden pearl. I'm gonna take a nice generous amount of this. And then you've got a hank, there's a fair bit there. Do your ends, just taper everything, just uneven the tips. Both ends. Just so your fly's not got a straight cut on the end. I'm going to tie, tie this in your desired length. So, that's giving you there. It's going to be at least 7 inch long. So, I've done three ghost wraps on top of the hook. This lighting's still a bit bright in it. A bit better. And I'm going to spread it around. 180 degrees, I'll lock it in, winding, winding my thread forward, three or four wraps, and all this stuff, just split it down either side of the hook and fold it right back in itself, and tie it down, and give everyone a tidy up, and now, because I'm not wanting the tail to wrap, I'm going to put a, like a cage round it with a bucktail, so I'm going to pick my bucktail from about midway, the midpoint, so I'm not wanting it to flare too much again, it's going to go a little more this time, probably double the amount as I put in before, get all your loose bits out, I'm going to tie it in about the same length as the first bit, but I'm not going to reverse tie it, I'm just going to roll, roll it around the shank of the hook, Just creating a cage round there. You're happy you've got a good coverage. It's split. Just tie it down. Wind them forward. Tidying everything up. And then bring your thread to about midway between your bucktail and the eye your hook. And we're going to tie in some more bucktail, but we're going to reverse tie it this time. So about the same amount as last time. I'm going to reverse tying bucktail. This is what gives you your your hollowness of the fly. Hollowness? Is that even a word? So I want it it's a wee bit shorter than the last one. The tips. So trim it through you want. Reverse it in your fingers. 
the top of your hook, force it down, and a couple of loose wraps. So when you've got on that, I push it down with my thumb, push it on the sides, make sure it's right round, another couple of wraps, then pull it tight and it'll start to flare. Put a load of locking wraps in. And then we'll fold it all back. Bring your thread forward and then build up a dam in front of the bucktail to push it back to your desired angle. Still a bit much. You want to squash it a bit. Just keep on building until you get there. This GSP is quite thin, so it takes quite a lot of wraps to build up bulk. So there we go. Now, next stage is more flash. About the same amount as last time again. Do your tips. Make sure they're the same as both ends. A lot of these pipe flies, most of the prep's done on your fingers before you tie it on. So it just makes it easier and it blends nicer. So the length of this one, I'm going to come in a wee bit, probably it's two inch maybe in from the end of my, my tail. I'm going to sit on top of the hoop and I'm going to push it down either side. A couple of loose wraps to make sure you're about 180 degrees. And lock it in. And then, same with this one, just split it and push it around the bottom. That's just creating your flash in your belly. So tidy everything up again and bring it probably halfway between your flash and your eye hook. So even, just about 10 mil there, so halfway. Next, back on the bucktail again. We're working our way right down the bucktail now, and near the base. So, we've got a generous helping of it. Get rid of all your loose bits. Measure it for length, and you're wanting it maybe just by the hook. Hook bend, trim it, turn it around your fingers, put it on top, a couple of loose wraps, squeeze it each way, make sure you're right round, and tighten down. I'll move it along a bit for you, so you can see it. Then, fold it all back. Bring your thread in front. And this, this bit of bucktail, this will create the bulk of your head. So, we're not going to flatten it as much as the last time. You want it sticking up more than you think, because by the time you put all your head material in, it will weigh it flatter. So, it's a wee bit more, I think. Right, so we'll go for more flash again. Same again. Generous helping. You try and work out how little you can put on but have the same effect or the effect you want. So, align your tips or uneven your tips. So this time, I'm going to come even shorter again, so I'm probably 60-40 on the hook. Spread it, or loose turns, and then spread it around your hook. And then split it and fold it around the bottom again. If you can, it's a bit of a pain. Tidy everything up. Right, so that's your your body. I'm still not liking this lighting. Is that better? 
you see that a bit better? So now we've got a full body in there. Loads of bulk, but not a lot, it's quite hollow. So now, the underside is going to be your belly, so I've been using a lot of this recently. This is called Wool Tops. It's, uh, these are 100 gram bags. I got them from a craft store. All you do is just pull stuff out of the packet and it tapers at both ends. I'm going to do this now. I don't want it quite short, so I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to taper it. Just with my fingers. And then I'm going to get my dog brush. I'm going to just give the tips a comb on my knee. Until you've lined up, if you're happy with it. Just stacking these a wee bit. And I'm going to tie it in probably 60-40. I'm going to turn it over. This is an olive. Right. I'm going to do the same with this. I want these fibres quite long this time though. Just pull it out of the bag. But a bit more in the top. So... So again, you put it in the bag, it leaves a taper already. So just comb your tips out. But this one, I'm going to have probably coming back three quarters of the length of the fly. So get that caught in. Two loose wraps. Make sure you're happy, it's 180 degrees around the hook. Tighten down. Pull everything back. Top and bottom. Just gonna catch you over this wee bit. Make sure everything's sitting with it and you're happy with it. There's no point in tight continuing if you're not happy with a fly. Right, I'm gonna put a bit of yellow in here. Put a yellow just to give it some yellow on the belly. I'm going to spot this 50-50. Oh, hold on a minute. So, 50-50 on here. V-style tie this. So, it's got a good coverage. Just going to give it a quick wet finish. Just to hold my thread. And then I'm going to bring my thread to the eye of my hook. Give this a comb out. So now, for the, the next colours, oh, even before that, I put in some grizzle. I like my grizzle feathers down the side. Just two grizzle feathers. I'm going to put these in three quarters of the length of the fly. Just catch it right in the center along the lateral line. Same with this one. If you're having problems with it, just turn it over. Turn your vice round. Catch it in. Fold it back. Lock it in place. Right. So at the top of this one, I'm going to put on some green and black. Or olive and black. So I'm going to mix it. I'm going to blend it a bit. So take out some olive. Comb your tips. Lay it down. And then get some black. Leave it that. Comb your tips. And lay it directly on top of the olive. 
So you've got that, now that you can see it in this light. And then just split it and stack it on each other, just a few times. And that will blend it together. So what I've got here is, I'm going to stack it, or put it on the hook, probably 60-40. Make sure I'm around 180 degrees again. And we'll come to this side. We'll put in some peach this time. I want this one quite short. So. Again, I'm just going to go 60 40 again. Make sure you're around 180. Walk it down and then fold everything back. Couple of walking wraps. Right. This is um, a tool for pushing deer here, stacking deer here. Just push everything back if you've came too far forward. And then build up a little cone in front of everything to hold everyone back again. Wet finish. Quite messy this now, but give it a chance. And back to your dog brush. And just get everything blended together. It'd be bite rough, it's alright. That there is that blended. There's nice colours in there. God, I hate this lighting. I really have to get it sorted out. So, to finish this off, Deer Creek Fine Flex Resin. Just tilt your fly a bit. And we're going to go in here and this is going to seal the thread wraps. I'm not going to use a lot, but this also will hold the material the way you want it. So, if I want the bottom in a bit, I just pull the bottom and I zap it. Let's give it a few seconds. Stuff's 100% tag free. This is a new USB chargeable. UV torch from Deer Creek. Awesome bit of kit. Loads of power. I've maybe done, I would say, a hundred flies since I've got it. I've only ever charged it once and it's still setting fine. So, that there is your colour combination. In the water, that blends together. It all, that's ace. So, eyes. Eyes are next. And I'm going to use... Deer Creek eyes. Find the ones I want. Ones have I got there? Right. We can find them. Here we go. I think these are called Gator eyes. A fair bit of sparkle and flash in them. I use this stuff. It's a Loctite gel super glue. Just turn the fly on the side. Pick your eye up. Put it whatever way direction you want it. I don't know how to explain this. I put a great big mound of glue in the back. And then I just quickly turn it over and stick it on. Turn it over the other side. Same again. Drop it where you want it. With this glue, it gives you a bit of time. It gives you a few seconds. So, you can turn it wherever way you want it. Get rid of the device. 
Sort your eyes out. That there is stunning fly in the water. Loads of flash. Loads of movement. Looks angry there. That has been catching fish. This last back end. A lot of them. Friend of mine is fishing in deep water. Over 20 foot. Aiming for shoals of perch. And he's been catching a lot of pike in these things. I'll have to go out and try it. Thanks for watching.